Should you adopt micro frontends? I do have a poor experience working with Angular app mastering eight different React applications. It was definitely overcomplicated and there was no really sense in such approach. We have a single team working on multiple micro frontends. Our duplication was all over the place. We have communication problems between services. I know, I know, you might have a better experience, but I urge you to ask yourself first, what is the problem you're trying to solve? Maybe you have a large project that produces deployment or testing frictions, or you are starting new big scale project that have bunch of engineers and you want to avoid potential communication problems within teams because uh, they are working on same code base. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not about enhancing your own CV with cool and trendy design pattern, but are you ready to take the risks? Let's talk about possible pitfalls you should definitely consider before jumping into micro frontends implementation. But firstly, what is it? Micro frontends is design approach that presumes decomposing frontend into small individual applications representing certain feature or subdomain. It is inspired by microservices. Although micro frontends received a lot of attention during last years, there is no a single way to implement it. Spotify implements micro frontends using an iframes to stitch together different parts of the same view. Those iframes communicate with each other using event bus. OpenTable and Skyscanner uses Open Components framework that simplifies development and distribution end-to-end -end backend plus frontend components. Dazen describes an approach where a lightweight frontend app called Bootstrap is loaded first and then it loads required frontend based on Brody. It only loads a single micro frontend at a time. IKEA uses such concepts as edge side includes for the static content combined with client side includes for dynamic content to implement their own way of micro frontend. Why there is such inconsistency among different companies, you might ask? And that's a great question, mainly because there are no rules and best practices to implement micro frontends. Companies have different problems they are trying to solve. They have their own individual environments, budgets, vision, and so on. So does it make decision to adopt micro frontends even more difficult? Absolutely. You have to know what's your company goals applying such design pattern. What are the pros and cons of different ways of implementing them? And are you willing to get more benefits than limitations it would definitely create? So let's take a look on advantages first. Developer experience. It's much easier to learn technologies and approaches behind a single micro frontend than for an entire monolith. A flexible approach and encapsulation team's responsibility for their own work will definitely increase overall happiness among devs. Scalability. In general, it means scaling backend applications to serve an increasing number of users. It's about how to reduce latency, improve performance, and cut compute costs. But it's also about scaling development teams. And because each micro frontend has independent team and releases, incremental upgrades and decoupled code bases, it will improve overall scalability. Speed. Micro frontends allow each team responsible for implementing new functionality to control their own deployment and testing processes without impacting other teams. That definitely improves the speed and efficiency of the product's feature releases. So it sounds like a silver bullet, right? Why don't we use it everywhere? Let's see. Complexity. It's not a trivial task to set up a correct for your organizational needs architecture that will highlight the advantages and reduce the limitations of the micro frontends. You may easily create more problems than you expect without proper analysis phase. Remember that each micro frontend requires its own deployment and testing strategies, but all of them have to be a part of a single system. Resources. Your company will not be able to reach advantages of micro frontends if you don't have enough teams to manage those services. This is not going to be inefficient if a single team would be responsible for multiple services, which possibly have different testing strategies, deployment jobs, and even frameworks. Performance. Every micro frontend application is independent. So believe me or not, but you will definitely have duplicates of common dependencies. Your entire application will likely consist of many versions of the same libraries across your micro frontends. The end user will be forced to download more data compared to the monolith, 
So it might affect experience conversion rate and much more. Don't make mistake about it. Micro frontends is an impressive approach for big or fast scaling organization. But it's not suitable for small to medium companies that can't allow employment and management of multiple teams and spend a bunch of times analyzing, creating and implementing most optimal micro frontends architecture for their needs. Otherwise, it can be a hell of a ride. So you better choose Monolith. Cheers.